In the medical industry, there are many disciplines. They all share the goal of improving, saving, or changing lives. Join us as we meet the people, discover the technology, and explore the organizations of this vital industry. Advances are constantly being made to better the lives of countless individuals. Let's explore the next generation of medical technology. When people are affected by viruses, bacteria, or tumors, the body responds by generating antigen-specific T cells, explicitly directed against the invading or malignant cells that are causing harm. The recently developed Dextromer technology allows clinicians and researchers to accurately detect these antigen-specific T cells to the benefit of patients. The new technology enables the detection of the antigen-specific T cells in a blood sample, thus counting the T cells that are fighting cancers and viral or bacterial infections. Copenhagen, Denmark-based Emudex has created extremely sensitive and specific dextromer reagents that offer accurate testing in cases where conventional methods are difficult, inconclusive, or impossible. Dextromer reagents can be used to measure the induced immune response to cancer vaccines so that we see how well these therapies perform. They can be used to measure the immune status and hence the patient's preparedness to fight off viral infections. And finally, dextromers can be used as a test for Lyme disease. Some patients, such as those with AIDS, have weak immune responses as a result of their disease. In other cases, doctors switch off a patient's immune system on purpose, as in organ transplant procedures. Following a transplant, it is important to assess the status of the immune system. If the patient's immune system is too weak, the transplant recipient is at a high risk of infection, too strong, and the body may reject the transplanted organ. Thus, the physician attempts to balance the strength of the immune system through medications, while fighting potential infections with antibiotics and antivirals. We use the Dextromer assay to help us quantify immune reconstitution after allogeneic stem cell transplant. We think it will help us correlate clinical outcome and prevent patients from developing infectious complications. We're interested in utilizing this technology for helping us understand immune reconstitution following transplant and preventing our patients from developing opportunistic infections. When researchers are testing new cancer immunotherapies, they need to accurately monitor the patient's immune response to each new version of the vaccine, which is best done using dextromers. This is a really important time for patients with cancer. We can actually cure patients with cancer with T cells. Not somebody else's T cells, but their own. And the modern immunotherapy of cancer now provides an opportunity for patients to live without cancer for many, many years. Uh, in order to do this effectively, we have to also measure those T cells, and that becomes an important part of how we do our treatment uh, studies. New medical technology is enabling the healthcare industry to shift its paradigm from treating all patients with a given disease identically to treating each patient individually a process known as personalized or precision medicine. Dextromers allow doctors to detect the subtle, unique ways each person's immune system will react to a given immunotherapy before beginning a treatment program. Thus, medicine can progress beyond the one-size-fits-all approach. Today, medical treatment can be tailored to the individual patient, enabling better health and providing huge savings to the healthcare sector. I'm hoping that Dextromers will help guide the development of effective immunotherapies, and I'm hoping that Dextromer-based immune status measurements will become standard in the treatment of immunocompromised patients, thereby avoiding the detrimental uh, side effects from, for example, antiviral agents. Immudex has the hope of one day developing an over-the-counter test for Lyme disease. A simple, inexpensive test that could be performed at home would greatly aid in the control of this grim disease. Well, the traditional multimer reagents, although a great advance at the time, have been improved upon by our dextromer technology. The greater sensitivity, specificity, and flexibility of our reagents has allowed us to improve upon patient diagnostics and to enter new therapeutic areas such as cell therapy. The dextromer's ability to detect such minute changes in the human body's immune system is resulting in a paradigm shift of what is possible in modern medical science.